it will be more people driven now because uh, once you invite people for uh, uh, you, you advertise those names for vetting and you set up a public hearing then you invite people to bring in the, mem the memoranda against any candidate they feel maybe they need to interrogate that person a little more they bring in their memoranda and those memoranda will inform the basis of uh, vetting and people can also come and attend those sessions and see if uh, whoever has been nominated will pass through will pass that test <clears throat> so it is it is something that should not just be left to parliament it should be people people now should come up those who know these candidates and they have any information that can guide uh, the vetting process to bring them forward, come and participate, so that we come out now with the uh, Kenyans who deserve to sit in those offices, not just uh, people who have been uh, sanitized. They have been uh, having issues, and now those issues have been removed, and then they are appointed in positions. That will not occur very well for uh, the reforms that the young Kenyans are looking for, and all Kenyans, uh, for that matter, are looking for men and women of integrity to sit in these high offices to serve our country. You know, when, once uh, these names are referred to Parliament, then the Speaker will uh, uh, send them to various committees. Normally, the Committee of Appointment will do mo the, the most of those uh, vetting. But some, 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 some will go to those uh, committees that oversight their ministries so that they can now look into the background, look at, the, at, at all aspects about this candidate and see if this candidate uh, meets the bill, I'm a fail, uh, fail, fall short of it. And the Kenyans, this is the time to come out. If they want to reject any one of them, it's the time for them to speak. And it will be, I, I'm, I'm very sure it's going to be a very ferocious uh, exercise. Those who are going to uh, appear before these committees, it is going to be baptism of, of fire, not just um, business as usual. They must be prepared. They must come ready. And I know the. I've observed in the past when we are vetting some of the appointees, you know that's the time you come and know that people have information on you that you have no idea. <laughs> some of them maybe you, you, you don't even remember having done anything like that. But when you come there, the Kenyans will have information on you. Maybe as far as when you are in school or in college, they'll bring that information. And sometimes, uh, people read when you know because when you arrive they give you that file to peruse through and see if you still want to go ahead with the with the process or or you can end up saying let it kai. From where he sits or from where I sit, I, I I see that I think he must have struggled even to come up with this list. He must have really struggled. And um, I don't know um, if he has done any, any, you know, asking for other uh, players to bring in their um, ideas or maybe suggestions or opinion. I don't know because I don't sit in those positions that for those big players who sit in a big position, they might have been asked to suggest names or maybe provide some guidance on how they can do it. But I, I think I don't envy him anymore because that position now is going to be very, very clear in the minds of Kenyans whether the president um, is ready to walk the talk and also to uh, initiate the changes that Kenyans are yearning for, or bring in fresh ideas. Sometimes we are afraid to um, go into the uncharted territories, but that's sometimes where maybe you can find talent. 
and those uncharted territories, maybe that's where you can discover that there are Kenyans out there who could do better than the usual ones we know. Because sometimes we end up uh, recycling from the same, same stock. We know these guys, he was there, he has done this. You know him, and Kenyans know him. But there are other Kenyans that people don't know, and they, can, they have so much to offer. And this country is not short of uh, talent. There are many young people, there are many even uh, experienced Kenyans holding position even internationally. I remember President Moy went and fetched for Mika Jesarem from the World Bank to make him uh, the, the governor of the Central Bank to come and reform the banking institutions. And if our President Ruto, I look even beyond uh, the boundaries of Kenya, the Kenyans working even abroad, and see if we can fetch out some of those guys and bring them home to come and help him um, reform, especially the economy that is struggling. We need really serious minds uh, to be in the economy, to be in the treasury and, and, and help him to bring around the economy back on the feet.